okay here again now autonomic nervous system the next topic the last topic okay autonomic nervous system it is also known as ans so this system it includes a chain of 22 pairs of ganglia we call it ganglia okay which lies close to the spinal cord okay and it is associated with different organs okay so they can control them okay so it's all the controlling and all this all done by the uh, of the different organs in our body internal organs and all it is all done by the autonomic nervous system okay so what is responsible for this 22 pairs of ganglia are responsible for it okay and now what is ganglia now okay the term ganglia is there it's a new term for you all i guess okay so this ganglia they are the collections of the nerve cell bodies you all know all this nervous system the brain and the spinal or the nerves they are made up of the nerve cell which is known as neuron yes or no and you know this uh, neuron uh, the main part the main it is known as the cell body or the cytone and the long one terminal is known as the uh, axon okay so this ganglia they are bundled up together the bundle of or uh, the nerve cell bodies together okay uh, through which the nerve fibers arises they are known as ganglia so this ganglia formed the collection of the cytone okay through which a new uh, nerve fiber arises through it okay so this uh, autonomic nervous system it is primarily a motor system okay consisting of the neurons that controls the functioning of many organs internal organs so it controls the functioning of the organs that are present inside us okay so like the organs so here you can see the heart muscles no uh, the glands the muscles of your blood vessel your digestive tract your respiratory tract and also your reproductive tract they are all controlled by this autonomic nervous system okay so uh, this uh, autonomic nervous system it has two functions mean two function it stimulates or it inhibits the activity of the targeted organ okay so it has a function of stimulating preparing or stopping the activity of that particular organ so under this there are two types okay sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system so just i'm going to uh, compare i'll show you the difference between it okay now uh, this sympathetic nervous system okay it arises from the thoracic region of the spinal cord okay thoracic and your lumbar region okay the nerves that arises from it and function of it is to stimulate a particular function okay initiate the function or prepares the body for violent action again any uh, unusual conditions or any unusual emergencies okay or any kind of uh, incidents okay and also it prepares the body to act under stress and emergencies whereas parasympathetic is just the opposite of uh, sympathetic nervous system here it has a calming down effect here okay so it uh, it stops the activity here okay so it arises from the brain and the sacral region or the pelvic region you can see there it arises from the sacral or your brain okay it has a calming down effect and it re-establishes the normal condition of a person suppose uh, if I get uh, suppose I'm walking there and some 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 birds come flying across my face what happened I get stunned there I get scared you no know? so what happened that time I get pale they shocked okay so that is all responsible uh, for the uh, sympathetic nervous system and after I walk two three steps I calm down you no know? so that is done the calming effect is done with the help of this parasympathetic nervous system okay now just see the difference suppose uh, you're going somewhere and you had a fight with your friends just an example so what happened to your eyes different organs now see 
uh, your eyes take an example your eyes first organ what happens the pupil it dilates dilates mean it enlarges your pupil here it enlarges okay non when i'm normal it is normal size but something stress something uh, emergencies will happen in your eyes no the pupil it dilates enlarges whereas in case of parasite just opposite what happened it after some condition when you're normal it, back, it brings back to the normal condition so constricts the pupil okay then comes your uh, your salivary gland if you take your salivary gland what happened when you are scared obviously you feel your mouth is dry you know saliva is there you know so inhibit stops the production of saliva whereas here that is the normal we uh, secret saliva after every seconds yes or no so that is done it stimulates saliva production okay bronchi what happened to your bronchi your respiratory tract and all it dilates when you are scared stop so it enlarges there okay your the it comes back to its original it constricts down okay original position then uh, your heart take your heart what happened you are fighting there you are becoming restless there what happened to your heart rate it increases yes or no so it increases your speeds up your heart rate your it comes down slows down your heart rate okay uh, suppose you take liver sorry your uh, okay your guts your stomach what happened when you are scared and all do you think the food gets digested properly you can is there a good intake of food no so it inhibits uh the movement the solving of your food and all no digestion of your food peristalsis it's in inhibits that okay your it uh stimulates peristalsis okay your then take liver the organ okay what does it do so uh, when you are in stress and all what happen the liver it produces it stimulates more glucose so your glucose production is more okay and whereas uh, per uh, this one para uh, sorry parasympathetic nervous system it controls that the production of glucose it lowers down okay uh, your urinary bladder it inhibits stops urination whereas your it uh, inhibits uh, urination sorry i've not written there but it's just the opposite so it stimulates urination okay then take uh, your blood vessels what happened to your blood vessels there if you are in actions and all of fighting and all you're scared you're worried what happened your blood vessel it uh, sorry uh, yes it constricts no it becomes smaller the blood vessels such that the flow of blood is rapid there high blood pressure yes or no then your just opposite is dilation the blood vessels it enlarges it opens up such that there is a slow flow of blood also okay then uh, kidney you, know, you can kidney it uh, produces uh, 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 kidney uh, on the kidney you have an uh, gland okay adrenal gland okay so that gland it produces specific hormone which is known as adrenaline gland sorry hormone okay this so in uh, suppose here this is also known as this hormone it is also known as uh, emergency hormone or flight hormone so any emergencies or not what happen there is this hormone is released okay and such that it um, gives you different kind of actions and all suppose you are stunned there you are shy you blush there your face turns pinkish you know? so that is all done with this hormones okay flight hormone we call it then again after some time what will happen you turn back to your normal color so that is done due to parasympathetic so here there is the rest the release uh, of adrenaline is stopped or it is lowered so you I hope you got the difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic. You know, controls all the functioning of the different organs. Parasympathetic, it stimulates. Okay, whereas your, uh, sorry, sympathetic, it stimulates. Parasympathetic, it uh, suppresses it. It turns back to its normal conditions. So with this, we have finished the, uh, the nervous system, the three division of the nervous system. That is your central nervous system, 
peripheral nervous system and the autonomic nervous system for this also i'm going to send you other clippings also so that you can understand the pictures and also that you can understand it in more detail okay so hope you have understood if any problem can uh, query if you have any queries clarification obviously i'm there for you so you can contact me personally also okay thank you so much